Gundam Battle Operation 2 is an interesting title in the world of Gundam games. Despite it being a gacha, it has the most consistent staying power out of any game in recent memory. GBO2 is almost 6 years old and yet it continues to put out one new suit every single week and has a loyal player base that continues to support it. I've stated my opinion before, but to me GBO has always felt like it fits well with early UC entries in mobile suits because of the slow nature of the gameplay. With the game now including suits all the way up to Unicorn and Narrative, that notion kinda went out the window, but many UC fans love that they have a game that caters to them. But now, that's all changed. For the first time ever, Bandai is adding an AU suit to GBO2 in the form of the Freedom Gundam in January 25th's update. Not only that, but this suit is exclusive to the PC version on Steam. Instead of the Freedom, PlayStation players will receive a collab with the UC Engage mobile game and 5 suits from that game will make their way into GBO's roster. So what happened? Why did they change gears all of a sudden? A lot of this is laid out in the dev newsletter that followed the announcement. In this newsletter they talk about a player survey that was conducted last October in 2023. This survey aimed to answer two main questions. How do players feel about the content delivery across both versions of the game? And would players be interested in seeing AU suits added to GBO, or would they prefer it remain UC only? The first question offered three options. The game could retain the current approach where Steam is two months behind PlayStation, the game could release suits on the same schedule for both platforms, or each platform could have its own policy. Over 50% of PlayStation players voted for things to remain the same, whereas the majority of Steam players voted for the second or third option. As for the second question, the results were also split. Most PlayStation players wanted the game to remain UC exclusive, while the majority of Steam players indicated that they were interested in seeing AU units added to the game. And the result is what we got in the announcement, a UC Engage collab for Steam players, and the freedom being added to the Steam version to celebrate the launch of the new Seed Freedom movie on January 26th. So how does the community feel about this? From what I've seen, the reaction seems to be split down the middle. The majority of people that saw the news were either all for it, or they absolutely hated it. Now admittedly, most of the discussion around this whole announcement is about the freedom. Let's be honest, I don't think PC players care that PlayStation is getting a UC Engage collab. On the one hand, you have UC purists on PlayStation and AU enjoyers on Steam that are perfectly happy with the way things worked out. But on the other hand, you have people on PlayStation that wanted to see AU suits, or UC fans on Steam that are upset that the majority of players on their platform voted the other way. The other thing to consider is that who's to say all the people that are reacting and voicing their opinions actually completed the survey in October? I played the game very casually, so I know I didn't. If people are upset about the results of the survey but didn't take the time to vote, they kinda have no one to blame but themselves. That's why when game devs or publishers ask for this kind of feedback, it's really important to give it to them because it does get used some way or somehow. Was this a good or bad move by Bandai? Who can say? Only time will tell. They did specify that AU suits being added to the Steam version is something that's being done on a trial basis, and they'll be conducting another survey to collect feedback about this experiment in the near future. This also isn't the first time AU suits have made an appearance in the GBO franchise. It may be a first for GBO 2, but Gundam Battle Operation Next was another GBO title on PS3 and PS4 that was in service from 2015 to 2019, and included suits from Wing, Seed, Double O, and IBO. Even though that game shut down, there were still a lot of GBO fans who enjoyed it and wish it would come back, so this new direction appeals to them. If you ask me, I think this was a really smart move. The most obvious reason is that the Steam version of the game needed something to breathe life into it. There's no need to sugarcoat it, the PC version of the game is simply not in a great spot compared to the PlayStation 1. There were very long delays leading up to the launch, there were issues that continued to plague the game early in its life, and overall it left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. This gives people a reason to pick it back up again, which brings me to my next point. One of the challenges I've always said the Steam version would have is how to convince existing players to play. Of course there will be brand new players, but if longtime GBO enthusiasts have been waiting for a PC port for a while, how do you convince them it's worth it for them to log in? Not only is the release scheduled behind PlayStation, but there's also no cross-save. Some of these people have spent their hard-earned money on gacha pulls, and even if they haven't, they've spent a lot of time building up their collection of mobile suits and none of that carries over to the Steam version. Why would they log in just to start from scratch again? 
With the addition of the freedom, there's now an incentive, something they can't already get on PlayStation. If this trend of AU suits continues, players will now have a legitimate reason to play on both platforms since they'll each have their own unique offerings. That's all I've got for you guys for this video. I know it was a quick one, but this is some pretty big news, so I figured I would at least make something. I am not a GBO guru by any means, some other Gundam creators have already done some great breakdowns of the announcement and the freedom itself, so I'll link those videos in the description. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this, I'm interested to hear where you stand on whether or not AU suits should be included in GBO's lineup. And if your answer is yes, which ones do you want to see next? As always, leave a positive rating, subscribe to the channel, do all that stuff to help me in my boss battle against the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.